Hello, hello, we're taking on Heroic Emperor Thorison with Druid. And one of just two classes we haven't defeated him with yet. So we're gonna mulligan all of this for Crazed Alchemist. Um, two games ago we were doing really well, then our piloted, sh yes, finally an Alchemist. Our piloted Shredder dropped a Doomsayer, which meant we, of course, lost. Hey, leave my wife alone. Okay, so now the next step is hoping he doesn't have a really aggressive Stark like Double Flame Imp. Well, even that we can sort of deal with. You love my new recipe. I think we actually go face because we can get a more favorable trade with the um, crazed alchemist. Uh, he actually does trade that. Still correct for us. Hmm. So we can't innovate out anything good right now. So that means hero power, I would think. This is an empty mana crystal, so we can't do that and hero power. I think it makes sense to keep our crazed alchemist alive for now. We're gonna need some decent minions. I guess we innovate our Tashli next turn at least. And he's playing fairly slowly. Ooh. We still innovate. A 5 7 is really good for. Dealing with things that come out. Do not doomsayer me. Die anyway. Yeah, I don't think we can do much to stop him. Get her into a bit more safety. Okay. Still gonna need more answers if he has more AoE. Although we did give her a bunch more life. Ah, damn! For a second, I thought he was doing nothing. I don't want to take that to face. So I think we wrath for one. Nice. Don't be doomsayer for the love of God. Yes. Get out a better minion. Oh, he has flame strike. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, that could be important. Another flame strike hurts a bit, but uh, at least technically it doesn't kill him. Okay, now both flame strikes are gone at least. We're pushing to the point where Force of Nature Savage Raw could end it. The moment we're six damage short. For the wild. Doesn't clear this. We've won. That's, I think that's. I think we just won. Yeah, that's definitely lethal. No play. Shut your mouth, or I'll shut it for you. Someone call for the dark. For the wilds. Running the program. Alright, Emperor Thorison taken out with Druid. Now we have just Rogue left. Uh, let's take a look at the deck.
It's a pretty strange combination of uh, accelerating your mana curve and um, ability to heal things up, mostly uh, the opponent more than yourself. Uh, for the early game we have zombie chows uh, to deal with early flame imps, lepanomes, etc. Um, crazed alchemist to flip Moira, you want to do that as soon as possible of course. Then you have ways to heal up Moira like Voodoo Doctor and Earthen Ring. And that is primarily for her, you only use it on yourself if you're absolutely desperate. The heal bots are what's meant to be for yourself to keep you alive. Um, and then because of the ability to mana accelerate with Innovate and Wild Growth, we have some really chunky minions. Piloted Shredders are very durable. In the 5 drops you have Fugan, Spectral Knights, um, Toshli, things which have a lot of health and can trade with a lot of his stuff. Ancient of Law for more card draw or Emergency Heal if you really need. Starleg just put in there because of the possibility of an 11-11 Thaddeus to burst him down quickly. You have Combo to finish him off. Force of Nature, Savage Roar, two copies. Maybe one copy of each would be better because it's a finisher. It's not, you know, it can kind of get stuck in your hands. Um, and Spellbreak is yet another way to deal with uh, abominations and unstable ghouls if Moira is likely to die from them. One Wrath, two would maybe be good instead of uh, one of Force of Nature, Savage Roar. Uh, that's the deck, it's pretty decent, but it's pretty reliant on drawing Crazed Alchemist early to stand a chance, otherwise you're just taking too much damage from Moira. It's not impossible to turn the tide um, if you don't get it early, but it makes a huge difference. Um, anyway, that's the deck. Um, on to finishing off Emperor Thoris on with Rogue. Uh, see you soon.